Welcome to PNRO's Avia. Hey everybody, it's Jamie here. Welcome to Travel Vlog Jamie. I am on board PNO's newest ship in the fleet, and today I'm going to be showing you around our cabin 8144. It's port side, it's forward, it's controversial. Ooh. Oh, yes, we've got one of those balcony cabins on deck eight looking out onto prom deck. So, is it as bad as people say online? Well, let's find out, shall we? But before you go any further, please do give this a cheeky little like, subscribe and turn on notifications for bi-weekly travel vlogs. To make it easier to visualise the location of this cabin, here's a brief look at the deck plan. We're in cabin 8144. Alrighty, 8144. First of all, you're going to need your cruise car to gain access. Green light means go, go, go. First up, pop any old card into this slot to operate the electricery. Also, just inside the door, you've got your Gone Exploring versus Taking It Easy card. You just need to pop that outside to make your cabin steward aware of whether you're in or out or shaking it all about. Let's have a look at the cabin. Alrighty, so as you come in, you've got four hooks to the left for all your odds and sods, bits and bobs. The bathroom is on the right, which we will explore a little later and you are coldly invited to come in you are so welcome yes i know we're saddos we've got our magnets we like hanging things up on the walls sorry bite me all right so the first thing you'll notice is our bed is by the windows by the balcony which is fabulous really good sized couch actually and you've got a table here that is maneuverable i'll say that again it is maneuverable uh so if you want to do some work there you want to have some food be my guest so this cabin accommodates three people. The couch does indeed turn into a bed. Directly to the left, we've got a good sized dresser here actually. A uh, nice big mirror. We've got a few shelves for your bits and bobs. Um, obviously I'll be spending a lot of time here doing my work or indeed putting on all my makeup, trying to make myself look a bit more glam. Oh, very nice passenger I am indeed too. Socket wise, we have two UK sockets here, plus I believe a European one, yep couple shelves and the reed diffuser is not included that's ours why do we have it because we can because we want to there you go down here we have got our all-important bar um drinks are not included here we have brought these on ourselves cabin steward will be delivering our bucket of ice every afternoon thank you cabin steward i'm a bit scared to show you what's in this cupboard treats yes we brought these on board ourselves. We do like a few nibbles, a few nuts here and there when we're getting ready in the evenings. And down below, our hairdryer. Oh my God, you know what that means, don't you? Hairdryer test coming up. Are you ready for this? Setting number one. Two. Oh. Uh, not too bad. Have more powerful blows. That sounds terrible. Moving swiftly on, we have our kettle. Thank you, Jesus. A couple cups, glasses. Yeah, we've got our coffees, teas, milk. Oh, I haven't seen this yet. We have our little sable durette biscuits. Very nice. And also, can I just suggest you bring your own squirty squash because who doesn't love a bit of squirty squash in their cabin? And onto the bedroom area. Well, there's a bed. Imagine. I'm not a vlogger for nothing, you know. In all seriousness, this is a really comfy bed. We're only on day two, but we had a fabulous night's sleep last night. I really like these little round mirrors. Oh, hi there, it's Jamie here. And you've got two bedside units either side, which are maneuverable. Um, obviously you've got those lamps and there are reading lights as well, very handy. And we're operating on a need to know basis here, but you really do need to know that underneath the lamp, there is actually a USB port. So that's very handy, isn't it? And also right next to your bed, you've got a UK socket as well. And on the other side of the bed, no socket here, but you do have that all important USB port. Little pan around just so you can see what the cabin looks like from the balcony doors. It's a really nice fresh cabin actually, I like it very much. Pretty decent sized television as well actually folks. Obviously you've got your TV channels, films, etc. on here. Oh, maneuverable. That's my word of the day, by the way. That's quite handy, actually. That's going to be a good view from the bed. 
And just underneath, you've got your telling bone, uh, handy little shelf. These cupboards are quite interesting because they're not very deep, actually. A couple of shelves there. Not sure what you would necessarily fit in those. Please drop your comments below if you use these cupboards well. Two more shelves there. I know, where are you going to store your luggage? Well, don't you worry, I've got you covered. So this is a very large level eight case. Um, you can actually get a discount on these by using my code. Just check in the description. Now it's a very large case and look, it still fits beautifully under the bed. So your luggage is going to be all fabulous under that wonderfully comfortable bed, folks. And before we talk controversial balconies and location, let's have a look at storage space and the bathroom. Well, first of all, we have a near floor to ceiling mirror, which is very handy for checking yourself out when you got your poshest frocks on. Um, there's no denying this though, folks, there's not as much storage space on these ships as perhaps on some of the older ships in the fleet. You've got plenty of hanging space, however, in this part of the wardrobe. You've got your life jackets at the top, uh, a little bit of storage space there, and you could put your shoes down below should you wish. If you need more hangers, please just ask your cabin steward. Don't moan about it, just ask them. And then in here, we've got one, two, three, four, five shelves. And finally, over here, we've got some more hanging space. As you can see, there is the safe and then there's another shelf up top. I know what you're gonna say to me. There's not much space between the wardrobe and the couch, Jamie. Well, let's check this out, okay? And the name of research yeah as you can see it's a bit of a tight squeeze the door does open all the way but i do accept it's not the most accessible all right let's check out the bathroom and i really hope matthew put the toilet seat down because i posted a picture on facebook yesterday with it up and my god no one was interested in the cabin they just wanted to tell me to put the lid down thank goodness Good boy, Matthew. All right, so here's the bathroom, Scandinavian kind of style. I like it. I think it's really bright, really fresh, and also no clingy curtains. I think this is a good size shower. Not sure how many people you can fit in there yet, folks. Give me a chance, I've only been on board one day. Uh, the door opens in and out. Who doesn't love an in and outy door? Oh my goodness, look, there's a toilet. And essentially you put one cheek there and one cheek there, unless you only have one cheek, in which case you fall right down the middle. True story. Behold, sink basin of life. We've got two shelves down here, two more here. I think that's good in terms of storage space. You could of course use this whole area around the sink and you've got two more shelves up here. Oh, and by the way, the air freshener, that's ours. We brought that along. We like home from home smells, we really do. Now then, you've got white company products in the cabin. Thank you, white company. We love a bit of Jasmine, Rose and Neroli. And also you've got your shampoo and your conditioner in the shower. All right, quick test. This is me. Uh, what do you reckon? Two and a half people? About that. Let's check out the all important room service menu. First thing to note, there is now a delivery charge of £2.50. Oh yes, times are changing on peanut. Breakfast items are complimentary, although not a huge choice. Other items uh, for lunch, dinner, late night, all the way through the morning are chargeable and you can see that each comes with its own individual price. I'm going out on a limb right now to recommend the burger, pizza and pie. Here's a peep at some of the room service we ordered. Oh, and a new favorite of ours has to be the Asian bento box. Absolutely delicious. And of course there's the rise and dine menu. So you can order your breakfast items the night before, hang this outside your cabin and Bob, is your uncle Petunia your auntie? This is a good option if you're on an early excursion. Just want to remind everyone that the tap water in your cabin is absolutely safe to drink. However, on the newer ships, we do have water fountains on some of the decks. In fact, this one on deck eight, I'll show you shortly. Uh, so do bring a water bottle. So my cabin 8144 is located in this section here. I just want to show you what else is on prom deck though. Uh, I think it's really handy for things like the shops. You've got ripples, Sindhu, hook, line and vinegar, fusion, roast, green and co, clubhouse, and also the sunset bar. And then the two decks directly below, again, lots of restaurants, bars, and shops. You've also got the headliners theater, and Oasis Spa and Health Club. 
our cabin is directly up here and then to the left and when you come down this ramp or the stairs you have access uh, to prom deck and i'll show you what that looks like in a minute including what our controversial cabins are like and to the left here this is where you're going to start accessing all those facilities and of note this is where you can fill up those water bottles i think this is an excellent idea to have these incidentally if you'd like to have a tour of prom deck on avia just search travel blog jamie piano avia epic ship tour there's no launderette on deck eight, so you'll need to come up one deck to deck nine. And as you can see, it's located starboard side and midship. Let's have a peep at the launderette, open from 8 a.m. till 10 p.m. There's a launderette on most passenger decks, just not ours. There's nobody in here. I'm not gonna get any gossip. How disappointing. Anyway, here are your washing machines, your tumblers, ironing boards, and irons. And the washing machines are all operational via this electronic panel. How fabulous. One thing you might be questioning is whether this is indeed a standard balcony cabinet or deluxe. People often ask that because of the inclusion of a couch. This is standard, but be aware that the balcony sizes can differ. And that's where a controversial balcony cabin really does come into its own. So first of all, as you can see, yes, it's on prom deck. Uh, it's slightly raised actually, so you can just kind of make up the tops of people's heads. And also the balcony uh, window itself is frosted. The doors here are tinted, so nobody can actually see in. Thank you, Jesus. So obviously we need to talk pros and cons. Well, one of the pros, excuse me, while I open the door, is the size of the balcony here. This is over double the size of most standard balcony cabins. I mean, we are so gonna have a party out here later. You still get the usual uh, standard balcony cabin furniture. It's uh, much more elevated if you've got a conservatory suite or a suite. Uh, and you do get your ocean views, even though it's on prom deck and you've got the screen there. I know that's gonna be a con for some of you. The other thing to note about this particular balcony cabin is that it is partly shaded. Great, in case uh, the weather turns a little bit nasty. But the other half is absolutely open and you're really going to get a lot of sunshine here. This part is also, of course, overlooked by the cabins above. But you know what? Their balconies are much smaller compared to ours, so I don't mind one bit. The big question really is, are you going to be put off by being on prom deck? Now, this part of prom deck is actually the narrow part towards the front of the ship. So you don't have those chairs or lounges or infinity hot tubs here bubbling away. So that's the proximity between your balcony and people walking this part of prom deck. Let's just have a look back along the ship so you can see where the lounges begin down there. Let's see how far back these lounges actually recline. Ta-da! Quite a long way back, actually. You're near horizontal. So I actually think that some of the prom deck balcony cabins are actually ideal in terms of location, the size of the balcony, uh, but others I would be a little bit more concerned about staying in. So I'm going to show you some of those now so you know exactly what you can expect. First thing to note then, towards the very front of the ship there's an actual ramp here. Now that does pose some problems for the cabins up ahead. Let's take a look. Oh look who it is. <laughs> So this is what it looks like from my level, my height. Um, and when Matthew sat down, you can't see him. Oh, <laughs> he's so rude. Now this is the ramp. And as we walk up here, you'll see the difference between our cabin and its height. And oh my goodness, this one. Can you see that? Now that's totally overlooked. 
Also, you need to be aware that as you approach the midship section of the ship, there are three infinity hot tubs. And when these are operational, I believe the noise can be a little bit intrusive if you have any of the balcony cabins in the vicinity. Right, so I'm just walking down from deck. We've just arrived in La Coruña and this lovely gent has just been saying, Jamie, is that you? Um, how are you? I'm very well. Yeah, I'm well. What's your name? Uh, my name's Austin. Uh, I'm on the, uh, honeymoon with Kate. Honeymoon. Uh, honeymoon. Congrats. Yeah, we just arrived in La Coruña. And you have what people refer to as a controversial balcony cabin on uh, prom deck. And it's also one that I mentioned because it's right opposite one of the hot tubs. So how are you finding this? It's actually really nice. It's quite, uh, it's quite quiet. It's not as noisy as what we thought it was going to be. Um, the rooms are lovely and spacious. Um, and quite, quite obviously, they, don't, they open at 8am and close by about 8 or 9. So okay, so not, not intrusive noise no, then? No, not at all. Oh, good. Well, thank you very much for appearing. Nice. And congratulations. Happy honeymoon. Thank you very much. <laughs> Take care. Cheers. You'll also notice that the wider part of prom deck there are also chairs and lounges right in front of the balconies. And also be aware that where prom deck widens the balcony cabin sizes diminish. Cabins at the very front, well be careful if you're on deck 8 you are not going to have sea views because of this block. If you want to be at the very front of the ship and have an ocean view you need to be on deck 9 or above. But of course, the big question is, who would stay in a cabin like this? Would you? Drop your comments below. I would love to hear from you. For us, we absolutely would stay in this cabin again. We think the pros far outweigh the cons here. We love the spacious balcony and the location is fantastic. I can see why it wouldn't be for everyone, but when people are saying to me, oh, I don't like the lack of privacy, the same people I see up on deck on lounges about that far away from other families and I wonder if they're actually that worried about their levels of privacy. Hmm. But as they say in the cruising world, each to their own. Choosing a cabin can be a minefield so if you have any questions please do drop these below. In the meantime, thanks for watching and don't forget to follow Travel Blog Jamie on Twitter, Instagram and YouTube.